Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to check a 2S battery charger by a new company named TunerC. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over the features of this product and test it out. And in addition, I'm also going to announce a small giveaway. As I just mentioned, TunerC is a new company and the Tor 2S charger is their first product. Basically, this is a very simple charger. It will enable you to charge four 2S batteries simultaneously using their balance plug and on the center of the charger you can find four switches that are going to enable you to choose between normal lab batteries that will charge each cell to 4.2 volts and you can also switch it to LHV mode and then each cell is going to be charged to 4.25 volts. Now for example, channel number one is set to charge normal lab batteries and if I'm going to switch it to position two, it's going to be set to charge LHV batteries. Powering up the Tor charger is done using a 5.5 by 2.5 mm DC plug and it operates on 5 volts. When you are buying the charger, you have two options. You can either get it with a DC wall adapter similar to this one or with this XT60 battery connector that on one end plugs to a lab battery between 2 to 6 cells and on the other end plugs to the charger. The charger itself is pretty compact. It weighs 51.3 grams, not including the XT60 battery adapter, and 83.9 grams including it. And its outer dimensions are 66 by 60.4 by 15.6 millimeters. Now I've got the charger powered up. Next to each balance connector, you can find two LEDs. When charging the battery, the red LED is going to be on, and once the charging procedure is going to be complete, the green LED is going to turn on instead. As I mentioned before, you can charge four batteries simultaneously and the charging current per channel is fixed and set to 0.48 amperes. Now let's charge a few batteries in order to see the real output current and also the end battery voltage since one of the issues with the cheaper chargers is that not all of them fully charge the batteries. So now I've got the first battery plugged and it's set to charge it to 4.25 volts per cell. Let's hit start and the measured current is 0.3 amperes. Let's add another battery. Now the measured current is 0.7 amperes. After adding another one, it's one ampere. And after adding the last battery, the current is about 1.3 amperes. So I'm not sure if it's really charging at full 180 milliampere hour per channel. And I can estimate that it's closer to 0.3 amperes. Now the charging procedure was complete. Channel number one that was set to LHV mode charged the LHV battery to 4.41 volts and 4.40 volts. So the total voltage of the battery is 8.82 volts. All the other channels were set to LiPo modes and this is the status of battery number two, battery number three and battery number four. It's important to mention that these are not brand new batteries but I can still tell you that there are some inconsistencies with this charger. When DNRC reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review the Tor charger, I told them that they should add the ability to store the batteries as it was a feature that was missing in the ultra power charger that I previously reviewed. They told me that they are going to consider adding this option in a future product. And I think that for now, I can tell you that the Tor charger can be useful as a field charger in case you are using 2S type of batteries and in case you're looking for a home charger I think that the ultra power UPS 4EC would be a better option as it costs $9 more and offers the ability to be powered by direct AC and also by DC it's a little bit bulkier than the tall charger so again if you would like to charge your batteries on the go the tuner c might be a better option but for a home charger the ultra power will be a better one if you would like to participate in the giveaway and win the tall charger which is going to be directly sent to you by tuner c all you have to do is to make sure to be subscribed to my channel turn on the notifications bell so in case you are the winner you're not going to miss out and leave a comment down below I'm going to randomly select a winner and announce it on a separate video and the only condition for this giveaway to happen is that this video is going to reach 1000 views by the end of next month. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below and I will see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.